All right, so as we launch into uh, section 2.1, I'm just going to go over some of the homework with you. And um, this first question says, each of the following limits represents the derivative of some function f at some number a. So that's f of a. State f and state a in each case. So you have to look at this, what is now the definition of the derivative. And you have to pick out of this what the function is and what a is. Okay, so remember our pattern. The definition of the derivative is f of a plus h minus f of a over h. So what is the function in this case right here for a? What's the function there? Anybody got it? x squared? Yes, x squared. Everybody see that? Let me just get it on here for you. Okay, so look at this is f of a plus h. So we have something plus h all squared. Here I have something squared. So f of x is x squared. What is a then? Mm -hmm. 3, easy. Okay, so that's the answer for 1a. What about 1d? So look at this big thing right here. a is actually easy to pick out. What's a? 1, very good. What's f of x then? x to the 4th plus 3x. Yeah. See that? Easy breezy, right? What is the absolute value of the thing? What's the absolute value thing? Was there absolute value signs? No, there's no absolute value signs, there's just braces. Oh. So the brackets around brackets. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, let's look quickly at number two. Quickly at number two. The graph of f is given, that's a, b, and c. Match it with the graph of its derivative. Okay, so over here, right about here, I have the derivative is equal to what? Zero. zero. So which one of these graphs about here has a value of zero? Not that one. Oh, could be that one. Oh, could be this one too. Okay. So what is the value of the derivative at x equals 0? What is this right here? Could be about what? Pop. Well, how are you supposed to tell if there's no numbers? It, it's going to be, well, okay. Wh what would your guess be? Because remember, look at this right here. x equals y. This is 1. That's 1. So this is going to be about 2 or 3. Okay? About positive two or three. Okay, so could it be this one? Uh, maybe. Could it be this one? Yes. Uh, yes. Could it be this one? Yes. No. So probably A is going to go with two. Whoa. One more check. Um, down here, this should be zero at about here. Should be zero. So look at over here, zero. So A goes with two. All right? What's the derivative? Uh, let's go over here. This one has a derivative of 0 here, 0 here, and 0 here. So that's here, here, and here should be 0. 0, 0, 0. C goes with 3. Therefore, B is left with 1. And because this is a straight line, the derivative is exactly the same all the way along this, the, the, the uh, slope of the tangent. So it's going to be the exact same. It's not going to be evaluated anywhere here because this is a corner. See that? Mm -hmm. So the derivative does not exist right here. So it does not exist. Also does not exist over here. Does not exist <coughs> over here. It's a positive something over here. So that's positive. And then the negative right here. So negative. So B goes with, with I here. A goes with uh, 2. And C goes with 3. Yeah, I'm going through this real quick. So once you guys have a chance to go through this, if you want to watch this video again, it will make a lot more sense. Okay, at what values of x are the functions not differentiable? Let's look at, look at a. Remember we talked about corners, cusps, and um, uh, jump discontinuities, and um, vertical asymptotes. So we have a corner here. So at 1, 2, 3. At x equals negative 3, no good. At x equals 0, that's a cusp there, no good. At x equals 2, right here, another corner, no good. Corner, no good over here, 2, 3, 4. At x equals 4, no good. Got it? 
All right. What about number four? Guys, look at number four here. Okay. Can you find this right here? Yes, you can. Paying attention. How do we do this? You have to find the derivative evaluated at three. So that is using your definition of a derivative, your limit, a is three, and here is the function. So put in the limit as h approaches zero of three plus h squared plus seven times three plus h minus f of three over h. And you can do it that way. Done. All right. So that's all I'll give you for that. That's just to come to get you started on the homework there. And I'll let you get started. And if you have any questions, we'll talk about that later. Cool. <laughs>